So now we're on Daf Kuf Yud Aleph Omid Beis. And after the Bia to the Rishona, there was a Bia to the Shnia. Lo Posal Es Harishona. The mission establishes that since both of these Kanos have the exact same identical Nisuin or issues, we treat it like a Suffolk Nisuin. And therefore, the Yibum itself, on a Drabana level, is a Suffolk Yibum. And therefore, the Bia of Shteyan is Shava. It's the same level of Bia. So on its side, that he was, through the Bia, the Rishona, he was Niyabimha, and she's Mekudeshe, she's Knuyolo, she's Ishto. Now the Yavam, or his brother, has a relation with the, the other Katana, the second one. That's a Bilas Nusbialm. Because again, once he was the Yavim, the Katana, we're going to consider that as if she's married. Because the other Yavama, the Tsara, is also on the same exact level. There's no superiority. So we don't have a case now of bias echadu bona vieno bona shnebata because the beer was a bias nus. Now, if you want to take the other side, that a katana is not knuya, then both of these katanos are nukhriyas. And he could marry them, and both of them, according to his will. Therefore, he could be mekayim, the katana tachtov, the one who is boil rishon in the first year, because we might have shachshiz muteris but he cannot be Mekayim the Shnir, because since the Ketana might be Knuyolo, then once he was Ba al Rishona, now we have Keva, a Bais Echad Bona, Veno Bona Shnei Bat. The Chain Shnei Cherish, the same Allah applies to two Cherish. Okay, now we're going to get into a situation where you have two issues through our Bona, but they're not equal. Ketana v'chereshes. Bo yovam ala ketana v'chazru bala chereshes shabach v'alchish. Posal es ha-ketana. In this case, the second bia to the Shnia posals her, posals the Rishon. He's going to have to divorce her. And again, here we instituted, if you call the Xeras Chachamim, that maybe he'll switch the order around. If we would have Bia first with the Chereches, and that Kenya is only a Kenya Mishuyar, it's a partial issues, and now he has Bia with the Kana, and she might be a Kenya Gomor, then the Chereches becomes Asura Ola Bishnei Bat. That was what we did on Amanal. He cannot be Mekayim the Chereshes. Because it's possible that Bias Ketana was a Kenyan Gomur on that side in the Sufay. And that trumps the Kenyan Bimiktas of the Chereshes. Again, he had beer with the Chereshes. And now it's possible that the Kano is Knuyel Olegamre. So when he has beer with the Kano, then Posal is Acherishes.
again, this is Shnei Batim. So again, why is, I'm trying to figure out why is it Shnei Batim if we assume that the Kenyan to the Kitano is a Kenyan Gomer Legamer? Uh, because then we're going to recognize the evil. Ah, uh, once we recognize the evil, then the situation vis a vis the Heresha, who has a Miktash Shirayim of, of issues, would be a situation of Shnei Bat. Now, Pikachas with Heresha is Ubo Yomal Pikachas. So it's the exact reverse of what we had until now, where you had a beer first with the Heresha's. Now we had a beer first with whom? Ah, but now we have a Pikacha. So Pikacha already we're talking about in Su and No Rice. So he was Miyabin the Pikacha, and then he had beer with the Heresha, or his brother had beer with the Heresha. Lo Pasal Esa Pikacha. In other words, the Heresha, which is a Kenyan Mitsuyar, does not have the power, the authority, the Koach. The apostle of Pikachas, whose Kenyan is a Kenyan Gomad or Rice. But boy, of all Achiraches. Now, instead of the first case where he had beer with the Pikachas, he had beer with the Chiraches. Ozer Bal Pikachas, or Shabbat Bal Pikachas, Osal Es Achiraches. Right, because the beer with the pikachas, is even to rice. So that somehow trumps the beer with the Heresius, which is only Ishus to Rabbonah. He writes here, Gam im bias ha Heresius hoiso rishona, which is the case that we're dealing with now. He started with bias Heresius. Also, lo lekaima mishum isu shnei bat. Because the Zika to the Bikachas is the Zika to the Rice. Next, Gedola Uktana. Right, he's married to a Gedola and a Ketana. Bo Yovam ala Gedola. Bechazu bala Ketano Shabbat Ketano. Lo Pasal Es HaGedola. Then, the same logic that we had earlier by the Bikachas. We're dealing with a Zika to Rice, and each is Gemura. And that's going to be mafkia, the zika to the ketano. So if that's mafkia, the zika to the ketano, then the beer to the ketano is not considered a bias yibu. But by Yavam al if he started with a beer for the ketano, the chazur balak dolo is pasal as a ketano. Why? Because the beer with the gedola is now a full-fledged yibum and the full-fledged zika, which is mafkia, the zika, once he has this marriage relationship with her, and the katana becomes the sura ola bishnei bat. She needs again. So the gedola now needs a get. Yeah, but she also needs chalitza. Let's not forget that because a gedola is nisu doraisa, so she must have chalitza. I have a simple solution to resolve this problem. Let's be okil mafreya, the marriage of the katana, through miyun. And therefore the beer of the yavam is not a beer at all. 
I mean, it's not a bias yibum at all, I meant to say. Because of the mir, which is mafkir the nisu and the ketan and the So then certainly it could be mekayim the gadol. Om Rabbi Yudam or Shmuel Halachik Rabbi Elazar, we have no compunctions about teaching her to, to be mamayim, the chenom Rabbi Lazar. Again, you have to be careful here. Rabbi Lazar, in this Gemara is an Amora. It was halachic Rabbi Lazar, he means like the Tana. He points out that the Amora is Rabbi Lazar ben Pindas, and the Tana is Rabbi Lazar ben Chamua. Utsricha. We had a very similar psak of halachic Rabbi Lazar, and we wanted to know. The Gemara is going to analyze why we need this repetition, what seems to be a repetition. In the case of Yavama Gedola, that fell for Yibu in front of the Yavam, who is married to her younger sister. We would have argued at Malabdenes Akhtana. Leos Mimayanis only applies there in the case of Yavama Gdola when the Yavam is married to her younger sister. Mishum de Lokia Mrs. Hebu. Because this Ktana is now serving as a barrier present, preventing Yibu because of Achos. So therefore, the Rabbanan are going to say, Now let's encourage her to do miyun, and then the miyun is mafkia, each is a Avol baha, but in our Mishnah of a Yavam who had relationships between, with both of them, the Kayim, it's this Yibu. So what would be the point of being malamid ha limama enes? Is Shavayel lifko begot? Maybe both of them should be divorced with a get. The Gedola again will need Chalitz as well. So the Kaya Mitzvah Yibu means he already was fulfilled the Mitzvah Yibu. So the half meter would be that in this case, we're not going to teach and encourage the Kana to be Mayanis because the Mitzvah Yibu was already fulfilled. The Yashmini Baha, if we only had the Chiddush Halacha Kerab Lazar in our Mishnah, we would say, Dafkan our Mishnah, we will allow it as Haktana Lemayin, Mishum de Gedola Ramya Kameh. Right, the Gedola falls for Yibu Minat Torah in our Mishnah. And she doesn't get parted up with the beer of the Ketana because that's the Zika de Rabbanon. Is why not encourage the Ketana to be my Enes? Of the Bia of the Gedola would be considered or changed or altered to become a Yivum Kehogen, a Yigum Kishirasa. Avel Idach Lo. In the earlier Mishnah, we're not going to teach the Ketana to be Mamayim. And the reason for this is because the Yavama Gedola is achos ishto shalayavam mirabbanon. And therefore, there's no chi of yibum. So why should we encourage the ketana to be memayenes? Tzricha. Therefore, the Mishnah has to teach me this chiddush that in both cases, we're malami the ketana to be my. The Mishnah says, yavam katan, sheba al hayavama so we have, he, he's nine years old and she's three years old. Is Yigdalu Zemze, we're going to allow them to continue to live together. When he becomes a Gadol, he could divorce her, but not before he becomes a Gadol. Cotton cannot give it yet. No way, no how. But the Mishnah points out that 
if we're going to be matir, just one second. Oh, is Yigdu Zemze? Now they became Gedolim. So he's a Gadol. He could be Megarish. Not before he becomes a Gadol. I mean, the get of a cotton is not a get. But it means that the heter here is not just for the Kana, because she doesn't have mitzvahs. She's allowed to, you know, eat nevelas. We don't have to eat Bezdin Mitzvah Lafrisho. But Bala Yivam Gdola to God Lenu. Even if the Yavam Katan had a beer with the Yavam Gedola to God Lenu, she could remain married to him until he becomes a Gadol. Now he can divorce him. Hayavama, Sha'amra Vitok Shloshim Yom. Now the Mishnah goes on to another case where he's claiming that they never consummated the marriage, meaning they, they were together in a private place living as husband and wife, but he never actually had beer with her. Or she claims that he did have beer with her. Again, all the different scenarios so we're within the 30 day of the marriage and lo nivalti she says he never had beer he never consummated the evil he gave me a get but she wants chalitza because she's still uh, is kofin also yachlitz so we're going to force him we're going to believe her that he did not consummate the marriage even though they were living together privately, because it's within 30 days. And a person can be misopic. He can overcome his urge to have beer for up to 30 days. So we really believe her that he didn't have beer, and therefore, Kofano Soshiach looks low. We're not going to believe his claim that he was bald and he wants to give her a gift. That's not sufficient. She needs not only get, she needs also chalitza. What happens, Liachar Shloshim Yom? The Yom again says, I was Boel her. She doesn't need chalitza. And she claims, no, he was not Boel her. So we believe him and not her. Because you know, given the elapse of such a long period of time, he definitely would have consummated the Yibu. Now, she claims that low ball left. So she, according to her claim, her own admission, she can't marry anyone. She's the Yavama Lashuk. And that generates the principle called Shavya Nafshi Chatich Misura. But again, we don't really believe her that he didn't consummate the marriage because a man doesn't hold out for more than 30 days. So do, do, a, do a taiva, do a good deed on behalf of this woman who to allow her to marry someone else. So again, it's after 30 days. But he, by his own admission, confesses, I didn't have beer with her. And as we said before, She's believed to say that he didn't have beer with her. But he admits that he didn't have beer with her. So that's a whole different story. Is that a few lacher? Shnemes or Chodesh? Because once he didn't have beer with her within 30 days, then maybe he didn't have beer with her for the entire year. Is Kofano Soshiach looks low. 
because we believe both of them that he didn't consummate the evil. I'm sorry. Um, that he consummated the evil. No, come on. Let me let me get this again. This Manchu mode. So we're after 30 days. And he, by his own admission, did not have a relationship with her. And therefore, she needs Chalitza. Now he changes his, his tune and he rescinds his original claim. And he says, no, he already had beer with her. She says he didn't have beer with her. So normally we would say that he's believed and not her, because it's after Shloshim Yom. No, a few. The Achash Nemes are Chodesh. Kofano Soshiachos. Again, he was mowed there that for the third, first 30 days he didn't have beer with him. Now, now he's claiming that after the 30 days he had beer with him. But he's already changed the, the Chazaka. Because the whole reason he was believed is because he can't hold out and withhold beer for 30 days. But now we're after 30 days and he admitted right? So it was after 30 days and he admitted he didn't uh, consummate the evil. So there were two brothers, Reuben and Shimon, and she's married to Reuben, and she says, I will never have any anno, any benefit from Shimon. Now her husband, Reuben, dies, and she falls for Yibam to Shimon. So do we take her nether seriously? Is Kofin or so? She yachlots law. So again, it's absolutely clear that Yibum is out of the question because she took a, a neder that she wouldn't have any enough from the Yama. But she does fall for Yibum. It's just a blockage because the Yisra neder and she can't, they can't implement the Yibum. But certainly she needs chalitza. Now, can we force him to give chalitza? Yes. Why do we force him to give chalitza? Because we don't believe that she was serious when she took the neder, that even if she falls for Yibam to that Shimon, the brother, she prohibits herself from Anna. Next, Liacha Mises Bail. Now we have Roman numeral number two. She took the neder already after she was a Shomeris Yavam. A husband had died. So you can't force him to give a chalitza. He was ready for Yibam, if not for the fact that she took this neder. So let her do in it. Because we said that if she took such a neder, 
while her husband was still alive, then we will force him to be holy. So, because we're assuming she wasn't serious about the nether. But now if she's serious about the nether, her eyes, she took the nether knowing full well she had fall, fallen for Yibum. It was after her, the death of her husband. Then in such a case, it's this Kavnolikach. She had a definite, deliberate plan, the goal of which was to ask herself on the oven. Now she wants to get Chalitza. You know, it's an, if he's a nice guy, He'll comply with our wishes and give a chalitz, but he's not obligated to do so. We cannot force him. Because it's her nether that causes the Easter on the Yavim. And therefore, ain't kofin oso lachmas. So we learned in the Mishnah that a Yavam who's a Katan and he's Baal Yevimto Katana Yigdulu Zem And what that means is that if he's Baal Hayavama Gdola to Kadlenu. So Gmar now says, Lema Mastis and Delo Kirabi Meir. So we assume that our Mishnah that says that a Katan is Yigdal and Makatana, that's against Rabbi Meir. The Sanya we learned. In a brisa, that a katan uktana lo cholzin v'lo mesiabmin divre rabbi meir. So the reason for rabbi meir is that we're choshesh for the miur of yevamim. There might be sarisim, sarisim. The miur of yevamim might be ailinios, and there's no bits of yibum at all. And since they're not ruim la komas hashem, memel their asurim zel zebi israishis ach. So it comes out that according to Rabbi Meir, there's a contradiction to our Mishnah that a cotton is miyabim es haktano. Our answers are filu tema, Rabbi Meir. We can still recon- reconcile our Mishnah with Rabbi Meir, Kiyoma Rabbi Meir. When did Rabbi Meir say that it's also for cotton or haktano to be misyabim? That's only gedola lik cotton. In one of them, for the Tiyoshi, there's a violation of an Iser Bia on an Iser Erva. And there's no Bnei Onshim at all on his side or on hers. Lo Omar, the Rebbe did not say that there's an Iser Yibu. So the Gemara asks for Akhtani, says in a Mishnah Bala, Yavama Gdola, Tikad Lenu. So you see that Mishnah is Mata Yibum, even if one of them is a Gadol. Um, the Mishnah doesn't speak about Lechat Chilo, whether or not he's allowed, the cotton is allowed to be Miyam in the Gadol. But the Ebed, if he was already Bala, then to God went. And even that, in that case, even Rabbi Meir would be Moda, that you don't have to be Mafresh them one from the other. So we ask for her to God Lenu Ka Omar. The language of the Mishnah seems to assume Rashoi is allowed to be Mamshich and have intimacy with her Aji Yigdulu. According to Rabbi Meir, every time he has beer with her, should be also. Now the Gemara wants to deal with the Shitas Chachamim, who are Matir Kotten Liyamim. The Gemara says, How could you be Matir a Kotten to Liyamim Kari Khan? The cotton is not really laholi, lahokim shame. How would there be matim to do yibum? It means even when he's a cotton. So now he's not roy lahokim shame. But we anticipate the future down the line, he'll become a goddle and be roy lahokim shame. Rav gives a different answer. Even without this Yalfusa, we would not be able to say that it's Osur Lakot Yabim because Mika Mikda, how could it be something that hashta sirale 
that now Bishas Nafil Yibum, it's also, and that's because he's a katan, Ulabasa Shaita, and then down the line when they become Gdolim and the cut becomes a Gdol, the katan becomes a Gdol, Sharia, now we can be Matu. Everything depends upon Shas Nafil of Amar Abiyudom Rav, Kol Yivamasha, Enani Koreba, the Shas Nafil Yivamaya Molela, is Arayashis Ach, Shiesh Lobonin. The Asuriola. So Gemara Yasviye Malachinami. All right, maybe there is no mitzvah of Yibu. So the Gemara answers Amar Kra, Tosik says, Keshfu Echim Yachtav. And it's much that this parasha was, was formulated in every single situation of two brothers that share, they overlap and they live at the same time. Afilu ben Yom Echad, even if the Yom is one day old. So although from this pasuk there's no proof that a Yovim is allowed to be miyabim before he's, he's a gadol, because it's possible that he has to wait until he's a gadol, but Rava proves that if there was an Iser cut on liyabim, then there would be an Iser to a Yovim even after he becomes a gadol because of the principle of Shas The mission says, Yovim Shomu Tok Shol Shem Yom, she says, Lo nevalt. and she's believed, and if a kofin also she yachlots. Man tana di ad plus in yom muki in a shanafshe. Up until 30 days, a person could be misapic, he could overcome his desire for be'ila and hold back. Oh, Rabbi Yoch, Rabbi Meir, he, this is Rabbi Meir of the Bryce of Titus Pesulin, which means the Baal married a woman as if. He knew, or the chazaka was, that she is a basula. And now he wants the time of that she's not a basula, he wants to be mafsid of the ksuba. His lavdafki doesn't have to come the very next day. Kol shloshim yom, within the first month of the marriage, Even though he was misyachid with her, he could still be toy tiny for suit. Tivir of Mayor knows we don't say that he had a beer with her and he found to be a basula, and after certain days he got angry at her and he wants to be mafsed of the ksuba, he tiny that she was a baula. He could say that until this time I didn't have the ilu with her, and we're going to accept his argument because it's within 30 days. That's the sheet of Rabbi Meir. If Yossi disagrees, doesn't depend upon any specific time period. But rather, Nistra, if he had a yichud with her, then he's not believed with Tainus Psul, Lealta. Unless immediately after her stira or his stira with her, the yichud, the Yad Achara stira, Kshayimta Bezdin, but he'll find a, a Bezdin to complain, he'll register his complaint. He's believed. But Liachar Zman, Eno Nemo. But Lone is to Af Liachar Kamashon. So that's Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi holds that as soon as there was Yichud, then we assume Vade Baalea, he found it to be a basula, and now he's drumming up a whole story because he got angry. You can reconcile a mission even according to Rabbi Yossi. I can look on Rabbi Yossi awesome. When does Rabbi Yossi say that a person is not mistopic? We live when he has Yichu with our Elabaru Sasa de Garispe, the Gispe, Gaispe. He's Rogel, but no, he's not embarrassed in our presence. They have a relationship. And therefore, Rabbi Yossi insists that he was bol amiyad avolacious achiv. And here on the top of Kufi Bays, Mivzaz buzzes me not. He's bosh me, man, he's embarrassed. And here, even Rabbi Yossi would agree that he could be misabek, be livel ad shloshim yom. This is where we'll pick it up on Yom Rishon.